We are here with volleyball player Stacy Manship after the team's 3-1 to victory over Howard Payne tonight. And Stacy, how do you say things went in general? Things went incredibly well for us tonight. I have not seen us play that much as a team pretty much all season. And the fire and everything all together, we were really holding each other accountable. Just It was all there tonight, and we really wanted it more than I feel like we have all season. And you individually, uh, career night, uh, 19 kills on 390 hitting and 11 digs and a service ace. Uh, what was going so well for you out there? Um, our team had a, had a meeting last night, and we really were calling each other out, expecting a lot more from each other and really being held accountable. And one of the things we talked about was being dependable, and I felt like I hadn't been as dependable as I could have been all season, and that really just was my drive tonight to be someone that my team could depend on. And every time I got the ball, just everything inside of me wanted it for my team because I wanted to be there for them. And uh, looking ahead, you've got the uh, second Dig Pink crossover challenge at uh, Texas Dallas. You're going to be going up against Texas Dallas, ETBU, and Letourneau. What's the mindset going in? Um, we're only moving up, only moving forward. Um, we worked really hard tonight. We're only going to work harder this weekend. We pushed really hard. We're only going to push harder. Um, we just have really done a 180, I think, and I think the only way we're going to want to go is up, and we're just really going to work our absolute hardest and play together this weekend and do everything in our power to be successful. Thanks, Stacy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We are here with volleyball coach April Birdsong following the team's 3-1 to one win over Howard Payne in a pivotal AC match which tie the teams for third in the conference standings at the end of the night. And Coach, just general thoughts on the team's performance. It was pretty good. Well, honestly, Matt, I mean, read your story. I'm sure that's the story that's kind of fun to, fun to write. Um, in all honesty, that was such a fun match. The girls did so well, and, you know, they just played all out. They played hard. They went after everything, and everybody was loud and cheering and, and in it, and it was wonderful. It really was. And Stacy Manship, uh, at least statistically, the best game of her career. 19 kills, a 390 hitting percentage, and 11 digs and a service ace. Uh, and other people that, you know, just stepped it up more than they ever have this this year. Absolutely. Um, Stacy was on fire. Um, we had a little conversation as a team last night after practice, and uh, the captains had a team meeting of their own afterwards. And you never know how kids are going to take that. And, you know, Stacy was one that. You know, she just, she doesn't really need a lot of outside motivation, but I think what was said last night just pumped her up even more so than usual. And being the only captain on the court to start the match, she really took that to heart and, you know, felt like it was her job to step up, and she really did. And who were some of those other people that were, uh, I was alluding to that you thought really stepped up tonight? You know, a lot of people had, like, their best match of the year. Yeah, I mean, I think, obviously, Sam stepped up, and she hasn't had a ton of playing time this year so far. Um, and she stepped up and set with confidence and served well and played really good defense at times when we needed it, and that was huge for us tonight. Um, Susie stepped in and hasn't had a lot of playing time, and you know every time she swung at the ball tonight, she was swinging harder and harder and faster and faster. And I swear the last you know swing that she made, she hit the crap out of the ball and nobody was anywhere near it. And you know obviously Zoe Allen, freshman who hasn't played a ton at all, at, you know either came in and in the first set had five aces, which definitely propelled us to the win on the first set and then throughout the rest of the match. Yeah, Zoe Allen's won six service aces and six digs and five assists. Yeah, for playing, you know, not the whole match, those are pretty good stats. And, you know, she's a great kid. Um, I didn't pull her because she was doing a poor job. It was more so that we needed our middles to go, go, go tonight, and we knew that the you know, middles were working and we needed our middles to be established so that we could get one-on-ones with our outsides and our right sides. And she's just a, um, a little bit uncomfortable still with running the middle at the tempo that we run it. It's a little bit faster paced than what she's used to. And, and I explained that to her and she was like, that's fine, coach, whatever's best for the team. And you can't argue with that. And uh, moving ahead to the, uh, you got the, cro uh, the second crossover this weekend at Texas Dallas, a lot of great momentum going into that. Definitely great momentum. Um, you know, I think tonight's, Last night, tonight's really what we needed as a team to kind of get back on the right track. And, and you know, I tell the kids not to look at stats and not to look at, you know, as far as conference standings and stuff and not to look at, you know, who we're playing next or whatever. But, you know, honestly, we had a conversation right before the match tonight and said, hey, when we win this, we're tied for third. And so for those of you who think that we still don't have a chance, we absolutely do. And so the girls were really pumped up and excited about that and, you know, really worked hard for that win. Um, it's huge momentum going into this weekend. We have East Texas Dallas first, East Texas Baptist first, 
Um, and they just came off a big win. They beat UT Dallas in and first time in several years. And so they're probably reeling with, you know, that kind of energy from last weekend. Uh, and we you just really need to go in and take that energy away from them. Awesome. Congratulations, Coach.